Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Inspector Sun. This is Daily Rambles, and today we're doing Arrow again, and we're doing um, season two, and we're doing the episode State versus Queen. So I'm very excited for this episode. I really enjoyed watching this. I was going to tell y'all right off the bat, I really did enjoy this. Also, um, just a heads up, this is going to be the intro to Star Labs as well. So let's just jump right into it. So um, during the, so we're going to jump into a scene. With, so like during the um, the earthquake and all that type of stuff that was happening, a bunch of prisoners kind of escaped, and one of them was the Count. And then we cut to a scene where there's a media circus at the courthouse. It's like it's just pandemonium everywhere. And I really do like this scene just because um, they made the emphasis on the media and how insane they are sometimes. And then um, we cut to a flashback scene where um, Slate and Shadow um, survives because they were bombed after um, they found out they were still alive. And then, um, see, like, I think Slate's face just burns in half or something weird. Then we go back to present day. And Dig is sick and... Um, Looks like he just has a flu, so he's kind of sick, which is very unusual because he's usually never sick. And then um, we cut to the trial starting, and so the DA doesn't look good either. Looks like he's sick too. And then we um, go back to another flashback scene where um, Slade and Shadow rescue Oliver. And then we cut to the present where the Count is driving a ambulance that takes away the DA because he passed out in court. And then, um, so the, the count takes over the TV stations and turns out that he took, of course, the district attorney, and turns out the, um, the reason why he's so sick because he has been infected with some, I think with, I forgot what it was because this was a while back, um, very sorry. Correct me down in the comment section on what it was. And, um, the only way to cure it is to have vertigo into your system to ease the pain. So, and then, um, so since he's been taken out on the DA, so then Laurel's been bumped up to the regular DA. And she basically knows the trump card about the case. And then, um, then we cut to a scene where Roy tries to help Thea. And that didn't... And so that happened, and then um, we cut to Laurel warning Mora about it, and you know, it's like, uh, you do, you cannot testify whatsoever because I know the trunk card. And so then, um, Oliver, then we cut to Oliver spares the count, and then we find out the trunk card is Mora had an affair with Malcolm, and. This trial has become super, super, super vicious. And then we have a flashback scene where um, they uh, successfully uh, rescued Oliver and they get away. And then we go to the present day. And it turns out the flu shot has vertigo in it. And then Felicity decides to do some digging. And they find out it's actually the flu mobile that's actually been handing out that, been, that has been getting people sick. And then uh, she goes busted by the count, and so the count calls Oliver, and so the um, the count knows about Oliver Queen, and when he gets to uh, Queen Consolidated to handle him, he kills the count, and she's an arrow through him twice, and shoots him out the window, and he lands on the car. So, he did. <laughs> And then they go back to the courtroom, and then it's verdict time, and it turns out she is, she is not guilty, which is so crazy. And then um, Felicity then apologizes to um, Oliver for killing again, and then um, he uh, basically says, don't worry about it. It's, if it's for you, it's obviously, obviously an exception. And then we have a flashback scene where Ivo is mad that he got away. Then we go to the present. And then um, we go to the scene where Blood wants to get rid of the arrow. Uh, but we find out someone survived the first injection of the Mirakuru. 
and then we cut to Mora's being released and it's such it's such a good scene where she's just driving through and she's rolling down the window and she's breathing in the air but then we go to this empty um parking lot and then turns out Malcolm is still alive and he fixed the trial. And then it turns out Thea is Merlin's daughter and that's where we leave it. Such a crazy episode. Why did they enter the Star Labs? I didn't see anything about damn Star Labs. Uh, they were talking about Star Labs. My bad. They were talking about Star Labs on the TV. I was like, what? Starlight's not on here. My bad. I'm sorry about that. Um, they're starting to talk about Star Labs and the particle accelerator. That's what that's what's happening with that. Um, and then, um, so anyway, sorry. <laughs> so that um, I really like the I really really like this episode. I don't think I've wrote enough down to be quite honest with you, but um, I did what I could because sometimes I get so wrapped up in the episode I kind of forget. I don't know how, hey. Write down your notes. <laughs> so anyway, um, I really do like this episode. Like the media, I like the interactions and stuff. It's so good. And then, um, just everything about it is just so good. Just so good. I have nothing bad to say about this. Um, this is uh, like an A-plus episode. I really, really liked it. I like the plot twists, the character developments. I just love all of that. Oh, I forgot to say the, uh, the other episode. Whichever. Uh, it's also A+. Plus. I forgot to even say that. It's weird. Anyway, um, that's going to do it for me. So if you liked it, like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, yeah, I'll see you on my next episode. And I want y'all to have a very, very good day.